Lauren. There we go. Everything okay? Are we back online? So the other thing I like to do before it gets uh, slamming is make sure I clean all the machines, tidy up my area, and then I usually just swap out belts and get a fresh belt for the day. Uh, I am running the Cubitron P120 for my first step. I know you can't really see the first machine. Second step is the A30 600 grit. Yeah, see, and they get worn out on the edges. That one's pretty worn out. There's a, there's a freshie right there. We're gonna have a beautiful sunrise here in just a few minutes too. Okay. And then the last thing I like to do is uh, take my felt belt and I'll clean it and then reapply some compound, maybe some diamond spray. And uh, that way it's just fresh, it's ready to go. And that diamond spray can be uh, drying and letting the particles dry and embed into the belt. And the blue compound seems to not leave too much residue. So 
That works. How's everybody doing today? This is my first time trying this, so hopefully it'll work. You know, at least it's semi-entertaining, and uh, you guys will get to see a Maui sunset here in just a few minutes too. Who knows, you might even see a pretty girl walk by. Morning, Graham. If you guys have any questions, I can uh, see you're typing on the screen.
are you? Really good. This is the part where we remember what we want, what we're going to bring. Did, uh, it's always the best part when you remember to bring them. Go ahead, bring them what you got. You got that? What is that? You gonna watch me do it right here in front of you? Or you wanna come back in three minutes? Come back in three minutes. Okay, well. All right, I'll see you back here in just a minute. Need a little light up here so people can see what I'm working on. Yeah, it's not going to focus, is it? No. Hey, you guys are right back on time. So we dropped the ant. Yep, anytime. Well, we'll try. We'll try again. I know, it's so hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's the hardest part is remembering to bring them. When we have trouble cutting butter, it's when we remember it. I, I understand completely. Have a great day, you guys. Good morning. Hey, good morning. I know you should have just given me a bit. Oh. So we, we, we need to put a new, a little bit more. Okay. Because I can have that. All right. So maybe you can try. I'll try. Okay. Okay. These are the old ones, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I can see the edge is rounded over from here. Okay, what are you cutting again with these? I don't know. It's actually, you know, it wears them out. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you want, is it, do you like the tension like that? Or do you want them a little looser? It seems like they're a little tight. 
Yeah. Normally they go a little bit looser. I, I'll leave it up to the expert. Okay, all right, okay. we'll do. I'll see you back here in a minute. All right, thank you. Yep, yep. One of the things I've gotten in the habit of doing is they have their preference or they have what they're used to with the tension. I pick it up. This thing is so stiff. I mean, it is stiff. But if that's what they're used to, you always want to kind of warn them ahead of time. Like, hey, I'm going to loosen this up if that's okay with you. And then when they get it back, they're expecting it. You know, so it's not a big surprise. Already, that's much better. There we go. You know, now they actually can kind of, they're still pretty tight. All right. And then usually I'll let them, I'll let them see it. I'll cut that last little bit right in front of them. It's just catching just at the tip. Looks like it's just not quite touching all the way at the tip. So you gotta take a little bit back off on the back end. Just a hair. There we go. So how's everybody doing? It's weird, I can see that there's people here, a few people anyways, but I can't see who they are.
Well, at least it's getting daylight now. For the first half hour or so, it's pitch black out. Sun hasn't come up yet, but it's going to be a crystal clear day. It doesn't look like there's a cloud in the sky. Yeah, I'm done already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, since you got it done, I'll pick it up for me. Yeah, $8. Okay. So, I actually, I actually loosened them just a little bit. Uh -huh. Okay. Now they got their new edge back on them. Oh, yeah. And then when we go to cut, of course, the wind is going to blow. But uh -huh. Here's the... Uh, Should we cut this one, Matthew? Well, let's find out. Okay. Let's see. Hey there. Oh yeah. That's what I want. Okay. That's what I want. There you go. There you go. Okay. Oh yeah, all my, those. My daughter says next time come up to the cleaver. Okay. How much is there a different price in the cleaver? Uh, no, it's about eight dollars. Okay, cool. Yep, yep. So I'm not gonna fuss with it. Oh, you know, no. You have you. <laughs> exactly. Hey, are you dropping off? Yes, please. Just throwing them down. Set, set them on down. Okay, That's okay. Thanks. That's six knives. Okay. Take? Five, five, ten minutes. Okay, okay. My name is Cindy, and I'll be back. Okay, Cindy. Perfect. I'm take this. There you go. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, ready. Let's go. Eight, do do. Charging eight dollars. Oh. Authorizing and approved. There you go, sir. Oh. You are all set. Yeah. That's a question for you. Yeah, yeah. My wife's cousin made me a knife. Okay. Something knife. Right? Yeah. And I don't know if he got a stock blank or he bought it yet. Could be. I think he bought it. Oh, yeah. But it's relatively thick. Yeah, that's pretty common with a lot of guys. Their first time they try and make a knife, they just make a quarter inch chunk of steel and, uh -huh. and they kind of round the edges a little bit. Does it need, does it need, re move down a lot or? I don't know. Uh, I prefer my knife a little bit more bevel. Bring them in. I'll tell you, I'll give you, a, I'll give you an estimate. Okay. Sounds like a plan. You know, there's a lot, what you're talking about is grinding, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, uh, which I'm not afraid to do. I, I did one for the, another guy here, but it's not sharpening. It's. It's actually taken the yeah, right. and, and and it in it's a it. lot of it's a lot of work is what it is. Okay. A lot of time. I don't need it really, but it's kinda of like blunt, yeah. I just want to take it down to make it a little easier. Okay. Sharpen. Well let's see what you got. I'll see what okay. I can do. Okay. Alright man. Have... With the... Yeah, yeah, with the cleaver. Okay man, have okay. a good day. Thank you, have a great day. Daylight. People start showing up. I got six knives. I never can say this right. Tramotina. Oh my god, I'll give it to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, brother. <laughs> that guy is the coolest. He just gave me this little paper elephant. Hi, how's it going? You were painting origami? He gave me, yeah, he gives me, he gives me, I've got like a little collection of all his little trees. Oh, and, oh that's cool. 
and little things. I go home and give them to the kids. I used to make rings when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember the guy showed me like a hundred dollar bill ring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, dude, that's pretty cool. How's it going? It's working good. I got good. seven or eight people watching. Sweet. And uh, I think they're there. <laughs> <laughs> it's my it's my buddy the coconut guy man that's the catered coconut nice all right bud Sorry you guys can't see the first machine. Ooh. See the heel? That's the problem with these, even even the pull through guys can't get that heel. There the heel's gone. I like to I like to get rid of this little tip too. That little point right there is right where your finger goes when you're holding it. Morning. Good. Is it getting daylight out there yet? All right. Sun's sun's not up over the hill though. All right. That's my favorite spot in the, in the morning. I think we're getting close. Thank you, man. Hey, good morning. This is why friends don't let friends use pull through knife sharpeners. You see it? Yeah, that's, a... <laughs> that's the hoot. That's the hoopy hoo. <laughs> yeah. And so you can keep. But at what point do you do you realize that your knife isn't chopping through the vegetable? So there's nothing to do but take down that back shoulder. Are you dropping off? Yeah, just gonna get us here. Nice, I reckon. I recognize the, the curry sheets there. And is that one new there? This one's kind of new. I got it for Christmas, but I don't have a I don't have a Yeah, I don't have a good What's that? I don't have a good Well, let me, I'll get you one. That's why I got them. <laughs> okay, give me, uh, give me about 10 minutes and I'll okay, be ready. I'll swing back around, so no rest. Anytime you get back, it'll be ready for you. Sorry, I know you can't see that first one. But trying to pull this, trying to pull this little swoop, move it down, round off that back tip where it cuts into people, and then bring a nice smooth profile all the way up to a needle point. They got a little wavy in their gravy with this one. There we go. Now we're
and then periodically I'll test them. You know, periodically I'll check with the strop, my pressure and the amount. Because as, as I go along, the compound wears out. Uh, so I'll respray. Usually when I respray, I can go a little lighter on the pressure. Um, it's, it's sticking to the thumbnail. It's popping the hair. It's sticking to the hair on the arm. I don't usually test with hair in front of the customer. I drag it on my thumbnail, make sure it's still got a little bite to it. And then make sure it'll slice. So that's, that's the edge I'm going for. It's sticky sharp, but not overly toothy. And I'll try and, I'll try and maintain that edge today while I'm, you know, while I'm sharpening. Hey, good morning. Find anything good here today? Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. What kind is that? Is this an orchid? Oh, or is it a, telling me the names, but like a bromeliad? Or I, I'm <laughs> so bad with the names. My, I know what it is. Is it, it's the one my wife would like. Oh, yeah. Where'd you get them? Yeah. Um, okay. How much? How much was it, really? Thirty bucks. That's, that's, a, that's a beautiful piece. <laughs> no, no, no. I might have to go grab one. Right on. Hey, good morning. How are you? How are you? Kicking butt. I actually got a full disclosure. I have a live stream going. Oh my. At least I did. Ooh. Got a bunch of little ones. Nice. Very nice. You got a bunch of little teeny guys. Yeah, I decided let's sharpen them up. I have a, we got our little drawer with the wall right there. Okay. So, I'll be back. Okay. I'll wander around. How long? Or oh, can 10, you 10, 10 minutes. Yeah. I'll be ready when you get back. Thanks. Where's that sun at, man? I can feel that cold breeze. We need that. Oh, man. I was it's surprised. nippy this We've morning. We've been up since 3 a.m. because we wanted to be in this webinar about news and all what's happening. Right? <laughs> It'll be here. It's gonna be here in the next half hour and then it's gonna be hot. Yeah. It's gonna be a hot one today, I can tell. See you in a bit. See you, bud. One of the things that's cool to see is when they uh when they come back to your booth and they got your sheath with your logo on it and phone number and you know it's gonna you know that this is living in here and everybody's getting to see that so that's really cool This one here is brand new, he said. He just got it for Christmas. So what I sometimes do with something that's brand spanking new is I'll put tape on it so I make sure I don't scuff it at all.
Blade guards are um, something that I've sourced and I have available for other sharpeners. They uh, they had a minimum order quantity of a thousand, and I just talked them down to letting people order them for minimum order of five hundred. They run about two dollars and twenty five cents each, two fifty. Uh, but it's two fifty your cost, and then you can sell them for five ten dollars each, and they are they last forever. It's like a business card that lasts forever. Al, I don't quite understand it myself how I can do it. I just, I, I just literally just touch that edge without hurt. I don't know. So there's the, uh, this guy's been a good customer and he keeps coming back. I can tell he's a pro or, you know, he's in the business. So this sheath I got is going to fit his knife just perfect. And by putting the tape on there, before, because I use the angle guides, but that means I didn't do any, any scratching at all to his. All right, so there they go. Now he gets nice things. Next up, a whole bunch of little steak knives. Uh, speaking of tape, I'm going to uh, put some fresh tape on my little angle guys for the day. With the angle guides I use, I've got them, uh, all the edges are sanded and polished, you know, so, so there is no, they, sometimes they do come with sharp edges. So if you ever get an angle guide and you use an angle guide, always make sure to, you know, chamfer, I think it's called chamfering the edges. You're the man of 
I'm looking for. I hope. Wow, that's a, that's exciting to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh my God, I've needed you for like so long. Nice. You actually come to one of the properties I work at and Stable Road. Yeah, 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 Stable Road. And they never tell me when you're there, and I'm like, tell me next time. I need to bring all my knives, but. Oh my God. Now I can give you business here, which is even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm always here every Saturday, yeah, and then. Just never up here. And then Chef Bella yeah. has. Yeah been wanting me to be available like once a week wow. at stable which is huge yeah I, honestly i don't know if they need once a week sure. but they're calling me out there once a week so well you might as well take the <laughs> right i'll take it i'll take it yeah uh but we don't know when they're gonna call me back yeah it, so it has been it's actually been i think a week and a half now so i don't know when exactly whatever yeah so i have are you busy right now? I am. I am wide open. Okay, I got. Cool. I got. I brought all of them. I don't know. If, you're amazing. Well, yeah, they're way dull. That's all right. So, but you're. What but I got. you're. But you're. You're pro stat, so you get. You get discount Thank level. Thank you. Uh, great. Because you're using these for work, right? Yeah, I'm. A, I'm a yeah. chef Bella. I've been down the stable room for a long time. So okay. Yeah. Then, then you get the six dollar deal. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Morning, dog. Give me, give me, I've got just a few to do. Give me 15 yeah. minutes and okay. I'll be ready. Yeah, no problem. By the time you get back, I'll have them all hooked up. Yeah. You want me to give him a, a nice little buff and polish too? Whatever you want to do, I will be greatly appreciated. Okay, yeah. I always ask first just in case the patina yeah. has sentimental oh, value. No, no, they need it. They need love. <laughs> all so right, let's, you, let's, I trust you. let's go to 2021 and get a fresh start. Cool, thank you so much. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. One of the chefs at my account that I go to on a weekly basis, there's a private location gated place. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got 10 of these little, little size. We're putting a Nice pokey point on it. Every Saturday, you can count on it. You sharp at night, baby. Every day. <laughs> I got somebody to bring in. Okay. I never knew if you were here. Yep, I'm always here. I also have a home shop in Mothawile, so you can do drop off and pick up. Oh, where is that? Uh, right, right across the street from Eddie Tam Gym. Oh, okay. You know right where the Mothawile Ranch Shakers is. Yeah. I'm the corner house right there. Okay. So you can you can always it's six Mahola. So it's the first driveway on the right when you're going up the hill. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but I'm always here too. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry you can't see the first machine here. Good. Is that better?
I see somebody coming. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? Cold. Yeah, I'm waiting for that sun to come up. Yeah. Got a couple of clothes to warm me up. Nice. Uh, off to the side, left left side there. There you go. Hey, yep, I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Sure thing. You are all set. It is 20, 24 all together. And the, the, this little, the little, little chunky, chunky sheath works just perfect. Oh, nice. Yeah. There we go. I have a 30. Yeah, I was real. I actually take take the blade since I saw it was scratch free, <laughs> so I made sure to to put the tip. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate the tip uh, very much. Um, so enjoy. I I would not want to take away the honor of somebody putting the first. I hate the first scratches on anything. So, but I can always polish it back up for you too. Yeah, the beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. Who makes that one? Okay. All right, I'm digging it. Very nice. And everything else, of course, took a real good edge. Yep, my pleasure. I'll see you next time. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I brought you something to look at. Something to sharpen. All right. So are you going to be here next week? I'm here every week. You know that. <laughs> out of the last two years and over a hundred farmers markets, I think I've missed three. What you got? Well, I got something that needs sharpening. I'm going to leave that. To okay. Uh, I got something for you to look at. I've got a book I'm going to leave you for a week, but I have to get it back because that's the only one I have. Can you oh, well. this? No, I don't think so. Oh, wow. That's, uh, I'm in that book and so is that uh, the guy that I said was from here. No shit. I'm like I'm live streaming. I got I got a I'm showing off my operation to my sharpener oh. buddies. No kidding. Look at this. Nice. Well, this will. I'm gonna put it right up here on the dash where it won't get nothing happening to okay. it. Okay. And check this out. Real quick. Rockstead. Ooh. Let's put that right back in there. <laughs> Here, I'm going to give it to you. I don't want to scratch the damn thing. I don't want to scratch the damn thing. Isn't that unbelievable? Yeah, no, I, I've seen them before and and I, I, I'm aware of the pedigree and the price tag. And holy shit. I have about four of these. Um, yeah, I, I can see why. I mean, I collect spider coats yeah. because they're in my, my wheel mount. Yeah. yeah, they're in my safe, my comfort zone. Uh, but I could see really getting into those. The first time I saw one, and like you were saying about the de the demo uh -huh. at the you that's know, that nice show. Thing. Yeah, and they cut they cut like. Have you been to the Atlanta show? I have not. You should go there. I know. I it's know. truly a trip. I gotta I gotta get there. Well, and know, this is a little auto that needs. Not too sharp. Okay, let me just get that for you real quick since you're standing right here. And then we can just eliminate the whole. There you go. It's not a knife I use at all.
And what's the last grit you use? Well, it's a 600, but it's edge leading, uh -huh. and it's a different, it's a structured abrasive. Yeah. And then the strop. Is that leather? No. Same thing. And so, it leaves it with a sticky razor edge there. Oh yeah, now you're talking. Yeah. What are you? Five dollars for that. Cool, man. And I appreciate you letting me use that book. I will take good care of it. I can't. I'm actually excited to give that a, give that thing a read. You I got change if you need. Oh, huh? I got change if you need. On that cover? Yeah. Did you see those two knives? I did. One of those is mine. Okay. Is that one that you've? Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, this is one I had designed, built by a jeweler, actually. Yeah. You know, wow. you know what mokume is. Um, yeah, it's an ancient Japanese way of uh, getting a Damascus look out of gold. Yeah, yeah, or Makami, or how do they Mokume. say? Is that how, I've been saying it wrong for a long time. Huh. But that, those are gold Mokume. Okay. Cover. All right. Well, I'm really appreciate. Let me borrow the book. I'll see you next week, man. You're all set. You got ten little knives. I'm gonna do them for five dollars each. You got it. So. And they all, I give them all back their little pokey pokers. And, nice. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Amazing. Next Funny. week it'll be gold coin. No. Yeah. <laughs> right. Bit, Bitcoin. Yeah, right. Oh. No. We'll see. Yeah. Thank I'm a, you so much. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Bitcoin, man. Yeah. I wish I would have been a Bitcoin 10 years ago. Yeah, like when it was you're right, exactly. Take care. Yeah, right, buddy. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Good, man. Good. Got, uh, three. Okay. A little more than three. Yeah, that's right. You got four there. Five. One, two, five, three. Yeah. That's five. The little ones are little ones are little price. Big ones are bigger price. Perfect. All right. I'll see you back here in 10, 15 minutes. Great. Thank you. So these ones are for the chef, one of my accounts. And I think it's my first time working with her and I always like to give them a little surprise or, you know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna step over here and hit them on the scotch bright and just give them a nice buff and polish. So she'll be tickled when she gets them back and they got a little shine to them. now is it okay Trying to get my thing working. I'm live streaming today. 
Oh, okay. <sighs> How you doing, dude? Uh, I got here a little early. I about 45 minutes yeah. earlier than last time. What? I kind of overslept last night. Well, I had to buy a, a shirt that's way bigger than I usually would wear. I was carrying a So you got audio, just no video. Okay, so if it froze for you, then you just restart the stream on your end. I've had to do that a couple times from my tablet as well. Uh, I'm trying to keep on. So Ashley, you can see it, it's okay? Okay. Crazy. I got some of my sharpener buddies from the uh, forums. This is why I say Scotch Brite belts because when they're, you know, kind of dingy, you can just hit them on the buffing wheel, Scotch Brite wheel, and then you, it makes them look like they're almost brand new. If I get lucky, I'll be able to get caught up here. How you doing? years or so. All right. All right. It says we're still there. <laughs> Starting to tell if it's, if it's working or not. <laughs> we'll go up here. And then we go up here. Oh yeah, it's working. Good, yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. Is that for you? Did you want to split one? I'll split one. Okay. I'd love to. Three bucks, still great. Yeah. My breakfast buddy brings me uh, scrambled egg empanadas, which is what good buddies do. Thank you, buddy. Kapuna hours on the weekdays aren't bad, huh? The weekends are busier. Um, so just because, you know, virus levels are coming up, I'm going right. to go on the weekends. 
Oh, there she is. That's, uh... She left her knives here last week. She comes back this way. She comes back this way. You heard her in that owl over there. The, the lady with the little dingle dongles on top of her head. Baby? No, she's a, no, she she walked on down. She'll come back by. She's not shy. Another one. Got the sloop. Also, it's got some This one's interesting. Somebody's done some work on it that I don't normally see. This has been thinned. It's been belt thinned to a zero grind. But they zero ground it too so thin that it's actually rippling the edge. I know it's not showing up very well. But somebody has belt thin this thing to, they did a good job. So I'm just going to put a 15 degree micro bevel on top. And put the tip back on it too. And then pull the bolster down. Maybe just a little high right there. Like it's gonna be a hot one today. So. Oh yeah. There you are, right back on time. Oh, wow. So, so, who thinned your knife? Oh, I have no idea. Some of these are have been in the drawer for a long time. What a trip. Because, you know, I see everything here on the island, yeah. right? All right, so here's, here's your item back. This one's just got, it's got a beautiful little bevel on it. Needlepoint tip, watch the tips are super I pokey know. now. Okay, so there's that back for you. Uh -huh. Do you need sheaths for these? I got these really sexy shoes. I mean, they're custom with my logo on them and stuff like that. And I kind of, kind of just hand them out like chewing gum to people that I want to impress. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> I try to be. <laughs> Let's see what do you got? Three. Well, that's the whole point of bringing them in. Is so you. that well, you know, it's got my phone number and, and it just says. And what is your name? I'm Cliff. Cliff Kirby. Kirby, nice yeah. to meet you, you dear. Too. Yeah. This one, 
one of them had like a little groove in them, right? Yeah, this one had some ripples because somebody had zero ground it down to like a butterfly wing. So I just put a small micro bevel right on top okay. at 15 degrees and that'll help stabilize it so it won't it won't wibble out. Cool. There was there literally wasn't enough material left to support <laughs> the edge. Dude, I'm telling you, these have been like years to come. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get these they've all been wiped down. I always say give them a rinse too, but I always try and give them a nice sure. I do a rubbing alcohol. Okay. And, Thank you so much. There we go. Wow, this is gonna make such a difference. And your total is 20, and you got one more for that? You need one more? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Cliff. I appreciate it. Of course. This is how, this is how you make friends and influence people. I know. Well, like I said, I'm always like a day late with Bella. It's like, oh, we, the guy, my friend was here. I'm like, shit, why did you tell me? <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah, hey, no, oh, dude, the, the, the knife guy was here. It's amazing. It's, it's good to come up and give you extra. I, I appreciate it. About $24. $24? Cool. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, the most amazing guy was just here, and yeah, you, you, you totally can, missed you can, it. You just get that extra dollar. I appreciate yeah, that. Thank you, Cliff. You got it. Yeah. And if you need anything, let me know. Okay, sounds good. And if I if uh, you message me with your, I don't have my business cards. Oh, I, I got your number on there. Okay. Right. Me message me. Yeah, you do. Oh, you Duh. do machetes too. Okay. Message me, and then I will save your contact info in my phone. Okay. I'll, I'll save you as Kirby Stable Road. And then next time Bella calls me out, I will message you and let you know I'm coming. Might as well have the rich guy paper, right? No. Well, they, I think they all throw them on the bus. Exactly. When I started, there was 20 house knives, and now I think there's 35 house well, knives. Well, it always like trickle down economics. You got to get a little something. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're if you're putting in the time and the effort, yeah. then then you're you're making their life easier, so they can help take care of us. Thank you. Absolutely, Kirby. See ya. That's cool, I just made a new friend. Oh, you're getting caught up? Yeah. Almost. <laughs> now I gotta get the... Uh... We still on? Are we doing okay? Pressure. I think the camera's broken. It makes me look fat. <laughs>
That's funny. <laughs> it's the angle, she's further away in the camera. I said the camera makes me look fat because what didn't make that skinny girl look fat. <laughs> oh. comedians are now too. Uh-huh. So the damage is just right there. But if I just ground right there, I'd leave, I put a big old pothole in it. So I'm trying to kind of blend it along the length of it. change the belt. Surplus cars. 
Hey, good morning. How you doing? We're live streaming today. Are you really? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yes, Steve, appreciate it. As always, trying something new today, so I'm a little bit fragmented. I also want to, I'll message you later, I'll message you later, because I might, I might actually try and fast for a week, do some sort of hippie yoga. Are you dropping off? Huh? Oh, those are yours. Well, congratulations. They got freakishly sharp. Freakishly? No, it can you want, work. You want to see freakish? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, another shady sharp. Okay, so do watch them. They're, they're sharp, sharp. Thank you. Uh, $15 for now. For the hard-working woman. Yes. Somebody got to do it right. Well, someone's <laughs> got to do it right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking a. All right, my dear. Still haven't done that thing down there on the sidewalk for you, huh? Uh, waiting for the for the county permits. It's only been four months. Only? Yeah, to sign off on a stupid thing saying, you know, it's a county per. It's a, just a county permit. Just, it's a wall. Taking forever, huh? Yeah, so one day it'll happen and then we'll have a nice yard. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Neighbor. Neighbor, good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you. Yeah, always. Be careful, hon. Yeah, pit boss. <laughs> I did my best ribs yesterday on the pit boss the other night. Last time I was that excited about learning something new, it was sharpening, John. <laughs> and we all know how that turned out. Yeah, the pit boss is uh, smoking and cooking is a lot of fun, isn't it? get caught up here I'll, I'll pull out and uh, show you guys what's what's the view around here Noodles. There you go. Didn't get it last week. Noodles. Well, looks like you're getting caught up. A little bit. And then you got 
<sighs> yeah, so we're uh, here, I think we're around 1,200 feet. Yep. Somewhere around there. We're yeah. almost exactly at 3,000 feet. Our house Oof. just about straddles the, the line. Yeah, yeah. And I, the, we uh, got some friends that are up at that height too. And it's a uh, fireplace yeah. weather, isn't it? Yeah. Depending on which altitude program you use, we're either like 20 feet above 3,000 or 20 feet below 3,000. Right. Which one you use. So I figure the average amount, we're like right on top of it. Just about. Yeah. Well, well, and we're in that winter season too. Yeah. Hey you. Hey, what's going on, man? Are you tax man to me? Yeah, he's over there. I'm just here. You got a, you got, I was crack of five. Ten. That would cost extra though. Oh. Just kidding, man. I'm so serious about it, aren't I? <laughs> he works for Neil? Yeah, he works with Neil. Okay. Is At least he says he does. I, could, I couldn't recognize him. He's got Nick over there and Papaya John. He says he works for Neil, but for I don't <laughs> suspicious. He takes my money and does a good <laughs> job. <laughs> there we go. Got three. So you know who Nick is. Nick's his helper. That's it. Yeah, you it's his. Nick. It's his buddy there. So he yeah. comes over to our place once a week, about five hours. Does meeting, takes care of the grounds because they can't do it all. We got it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! You told me the the young guy. The young guy, and I'm teaching him some martial arts. What's his name? His name is Nick. Nick. That's the young kid. He's like he is like 21. He is a solid, super he's kind. Good. He's super good. Yeah. He's, he's, he's more young people like that. Yeah. So, uh, so after five hours, I'll give him a little bit of a lesson. What's he studying with you? Right. He's studying. Uh, Okay. And I'm them nice. Yeah. Are you doing uh, like taekwondo kind of stuff, or yeah, I'm teaching them uh, basic fighting, kicking, blocking. Right. I'm teaching styles that study. Also teaching them since it's a unique opportunity. Uh, teaching them some of the traditional weapons. Right. Well, who, when is he going to be able to learn those from somebody else? So you can else? find the empty-handed self-defense anywhere. Right. You, know, you can find something. So this is an opportunity for him to study with someone and has that knowledge. He's just dying out. Right. So he's learning things like the like the long staff, long staff, short staff, rod sword, straight sword. Some of the Okinawan weapons like the nun touch in the side. Right. Size, size the one that's got the... Size the one that has the, it's a pre-pronged strengthen. Right. It has the long center prong. Uh, and the, the practice men touch the same today, they're rubber. Yeah. I made some of uh, broomstick once. All right. Nailed a string in the end, swung them yeah, around, yeah. and they and they let loose. <laughs> yeah, I had to go past my ear at uh, 80 miles an hour. That's right. Right towards the, right towards the bay window. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You gotta be careful. You gotta start with the plastic and rubber foam rubber ones because you're gonna whack yourself in the, in the teeth or in the eye, you know, until you know what you're doing. So we have practice ones. And, uh, and the size just came, got a pair of size, so we'll, I'll start him on that next week. So he's having a blast. Yeah, man, I bet you he is. We do, because uh, he put in like, he puts in like five hours, so we do like, uh, we started out with just 20, 20, 30 minutes. Nice. He's been doing this for about four four months now. So we just, I said, you know, 20, 30 minutes not enough. If you're up for it, we can do more like 40 minutes to an hour if you're, you know, if you've got the energy. Well, he's 21 years old. Right. He's energy, got so. the energy. So uh, last time we did a full hour for the first time. We were just meeting once a week. Good morning, my dear. Good morning. How you doing? Good. You dropping off? No, picking up. Oh, you're, you're a picker-upper. Nice. Well, we all need a good picker picker up or something. We got these uh, one, two, three, four, five. What's this called? An even thirty. Awesome. You give you give you a drop down. And they all I did I did minor corrections to them. Do watch they got they got pokey points. Oh, okay. So they're all razor sharp and have pokey points again. That's fine. And 20 for change. Awesome. Yeah, I'll take, I didn't want to take all of mine, but I have other little mine. So, okay, that's 
Yeah, no, that's fine. And that you did just right. That's a nice little amount because then I'll give you a nice little drop in the price because it's enough to, you know, it's not a onesie twosie thing and and it works for everybody. So. Awesome. Thank you so much. My pleasure. He's all done. That means I get to have a bite to eat. All right. Woo! Where are we at? We're at 815. Eight fifteen local time. Say hi to Steve. <laughs> Steve's a good buddy of mine. So we're up country and we're up in the hills. That's the big mountain behind us. We just got rolling pasture land. This is our morning market. It goes down. It's rather an extensive market. Beautiful in the morning like this. It's just like spring picnic weather. And it's about that time when it's gonna get roasty real quick too. It's I can there, I told it? you, I told it's you it's gonna be. Yeah, you're right. This is where it's nice to be in the shade. Yeah, I love your little tent here. This is great. Hey good morning. These are in such bad shape, but I'm too lazy to go buy new. How much would it be? You're just seven dollars. Right. <laughs> Set them down. I'll take care of them right now for you. I can come back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Oh my. Oh, shoot. I thought they were rusted shut. I'm going to grab a bite to eat real quick. Hey, Michael, good morning. Mm, these are the best. Yeah. Which one's this one called? That's the uh, Dawn Patrol. Yeah. That has the eggs, bacon, it's got a little onion in it. The sc scrambled eggs, scrambled bacon, and an uh, empanada shell? Yeah. Oh my god. Ridiculous. Yeah, and we and we like the beef uh, and onion and spinach one too. That's right. That seems to be our favorite. That, that's real breakfasty. Either one of those works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Delicious. Yeah, it's perfect because we split them. Hey, couple big guys like you I mean that's just like three bites right that's nothing so just a little snack just takes a little dent yeah puts a little puts, puts a little tiny, dent tiny little blade you got here it's a small one yeah large. oh yeah a little chunky little chunky thunker chunky but it's tiny it's like perfect it, it is it's a good little piece it looks heavy duty not like uh -uh. thin curved tiny blade mm -mm. that's short and tiny but this has like a drop point on it. You want to look at? So. Mm -hmm. okay. I've got a lot of blades that are around this size. Live streaming. <laughs> this one's sort of like a. It's not, it's not like a mini cleaver though. Oh really? Yeah, but it's, uh, it's just a regular Kershaw. That's the only one I've got like that.
I have a, I have, I got a video to show you too. For blade, blade retention. Yeah. Um, edge retention. Is this gonna be really good? Let me, uh, let me check the steel. This is about the same size as like a, um, it's like perfect for like you know, cut knife. Yep, yep. No, it is. It's really practical. I mean, as far as utility value goes. Yeah, um, I, mean, I don't need it to flip out easily or anything else because I don't like want it to flip out easily. No, <laughs> it actually looks like the tension might be a little hot on it, a little tight. That's me, good. I'd rather have it tight me, on a small blade. Let me check the steel real quick. Does it see what it is? It's not 440C. No, they don't use this. Um, 5311. So it's a it's CRK. It's a CRKT pillar. Let me Google that. And C R K T P L R. Might be D two. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. This is a perfect small utility blade. Yeah, I would I would agree with that. Fifty dollars. Great. <laughs> and the C the steel is eight C R thirteen, so it's four forty C. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fifty. Sub zero quench. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I got, I've actually got my knife for him kind of watching along with us this morning. It's been kind of fun. <laughs> Everyone's gets there like, hey Cliff, hey. All right, so we got 50. And... What's that indentation for? I wonder. Approved. There you go. Which one? That little... Uh, that's so you can flip the pocket clip around so you can go either way. Oh, oh, it's for the pocket clip. Yeah, yeah. So you can you can go with uh, tip up or tip down carry on your on your on your pocket. Yeah. And you, sir, safest. are all set. Great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I got actually. Are you gonna be around? You can stop back by a little later. Yeah. Stop back by. I got this amazing video I want to show you. Great. Thank okay. you. All right, brother. See you, man. Hey. There you go. Thank you, brother. I put one of these in one of my sheaths. No charge. They're velvet lined. I'm very proud to offer these sexy little beasts to you. That's awesome. Thank you, brother. And I left a nice little bite on the edge. Perfect. So they're, uh, you know, we can always do a polished edge, but the bitey edge is the no, trick. No, I, I prefer that, yeah. You know, not not overly coarse, but uh, scalpel-y. So you got one, two, three, uh, $20. Just over $6 each. Thank you, brother. We're oh, good. man. I, have to do that. I appreciate it very much. No, no I appreciate it. <laughs> it's a win-win. I've, I've been beating them up with my steel lately, so I need to do that. I just did a video on what stealing does to uh, a knife. Because there's a lot, of, you know, the wire edge straightens the edge. Right. If, if a knife is sharpened, there shouldn't be a wire on top. And when you use a steel, uh, not a ceramic honing rod, but a steel. It actually scrapes the metal and makes a just a loose wire piece on top. Well, I'm going back to my ceramic when I they're back on the yeah. So so I've got I'm actually working right now on Manufacturing I have samples being brought in and I'll have really high quality Affordable oh, awesome, and I'll have them in black. I like the black because it doesn't show all the dirt and White so I'll have black and whites and I should have them available I was gonna try and do custom logos on them. I said, nah, just give me, just get something good in here so I can give them to people. Thank you so much. Yeah, because that's the well, you, it's gonna make your life happier. Much, much more. So. And, and instead of scraping them on a steel, right. which yeah, which is kind of the industry standard for a lot of guys, well, it'll make the edge last longer too. I'm retired now. I got more time to sharpen my knife. <laughs> right on, man. All right, pleasure, pleasure, man. Anytime. Uh, uh what I do? Card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got new cards getting made. Do I have? I got one left. There you go, brother. I got lucky. There you go. Well, it's on. It's on the sheet too. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's the other. Then here, let me take your last card. Yeah. It's all. It's all temporary shortages. All right on. Oh, what a beautiful. It looks like it's going to be a really nice day. I think it's going to get hot though.
you do barbecue? I see barbecue on your hat. That's, I, I, I used to. This is a local kid, but I, I, I used to own restaurants back on the mainland. Okay. And, uh, that's what I did for a living with barbecue. Okay. Now I do it for fun. I just got a smoker for Christmas, and the last time I was so taken with a hobby, I grew up in kitchens too, but this is when I was sharp, when I learned how to sharpen. And I'm, I watch, you know, it's watching, you got the right tool for the job, you follow the instructions, you sprinkle the rub on, you set it, forget it, wrap it, flip it, whatever you gotta do, baste it. No, we, uh. Oh my God. We, go ahead. Hey. I'll talk to you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk later. Uh, yeah, man. Anytime. Hi, hon. Hey. All right. These are mine. Oh, okay. Did you go up? You're okay. You're okay. Don't let me all see it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, forty dollars. There we go. Perfect. That's twenty and forty. Thank you so much for did, your did you go home and come back? I did. I thought so. And then I forgot, you know, then I forgot my mask. At least we, li at least we live up country. I know, I'm a mile or two away. Oh, yeah. So they are pokey pokey and everything else. Yeah. So I have a big catering job. So what I did this time, knowing I was sharpening, I bought extra band-aids. <laughs> there we go. And I always got extra knives too if you need specialties. I'm, I'm now stocking Victorinox. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're affordable. Mm -hmm. They're basically like what you got, but with yeah. a little, just that next step up. Yeah, I know. Uh, double check whatever the Amazon price is. It's thirty-five to forty-five is typical price yeah, yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, that was a good deal on that little cricket-like knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that used or new? That was brand new. It was brand new. Yeah. Damn. I know it was really cricket. <laughs> I might have bought myself. And I love that, uh, that style. So that format <laughs> because it reminds me of my little cricket that I got back in Maryland. No, that's the whole, the whole, the guys are telling me uh, that I'm being honest and uh, that's the whole deal is I'll, I'll sell it at the straight price that they can get it on the mainland, but they get to uh, put it right in their hand right here. Yeah. And, uh, and then they know I'm not a gouger. Nobody likes a gouger. Uh, uh. Nobody wants to be the gouger, except for maybe the gouger don't care. <laughs> gouger gonna gouge, bro. <laughs> what you gonna do? Yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah. Hey, thank you. That little that little snack at the spot too. Sure, it was just sure. perfect. Well, it looks like you're caught up. I am caught up, except for my back my back work. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, I do that when nobody's when nobody's looking. What's that uh, flat board back there with a the handle? What's that thing? Is that like a strop? Uh, this is my deburr stick. So when I got a when I got to scrape something off, I'll just deburr it real quick on that. I see. Sorry, it's just finishing yours up. They actually, uh, check them out. Actually, these Fiskers are amazing. They're some of the better quality yeah, ones, yeah? Yeah, And they close all the way still. So the only thing you can't do is when they stop closing all the way, you can't really adjust to get them to, to finish. You are all set. I gave you a pack. Can I just shove them in there so I don't poke around in my bag? Right here. Little bag right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Sorry. Perfect. Your Mira. <laughs> Very nice. Seven out of ten. There you go. Thank you. Have a great day. And I am caught up. And, and I'm fed and I'm happy. It's a good deal. Good deal, dude. Onwards and outwards. <laughs> Yeah. Well, hopefully somebody's finding this semi-entertaining. A couple people. A couple nerds. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. A little warmer. Yeah, a little bit. So, I've only been here once through the winter, which was last year. Yeah. The, uh, I would expect January to be the coldest, coldest month. Okay. Uh, like mid February, because you know the oceans moderate the temperature. Yeah. The reason why the peak temperatures are a month later is because the ocean takes a while. 
it's hard to also some of it up country has to do with when the rain and the wind and that evaporation process you yeah. get evaporative cooling right yeah yeah and that can make it, the, they can actually make the wind chill make it feel really nippy. Yeah. My parents are from Fairbanks, Alaska. And when they come in December, if the wind is blowing sideways and the rain is dropping, uh, it's, you know, it's a serious thing. They feel it. Yeah, that's interesting. People how are you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good, what's going on? Um, my wife dropped off uh, a bunch of knives last week. Permiana was, oh, yep, that's them. Oh, okay. Your kombucha, uh, no, uh, uh, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got. Nice. Got to take a look. Yeah, I said she came by a little bit ago. One, two, three, four, five, and uh, vendor price is six dollars. It's gonna be thirty dollars. I whispered it like it's really a conspiracy. Or something. Yeah, I guess I just whispered it. <laughs> like a secret. Oh, feels good. Yeah. Yeah, I. I I took a Dremel to, I think, one or two of these. Oh, that's, that's right. The there was Dremels. We don't talk about, we don't do that. <laughs> it didn't work. No, we didn't. I just shot your receipt since it pulled up your phone number. I sent your sure. receipt to you. You're all set. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Uh, first time through, they're still a little rough on them, but I, yeah. I, did, I removed the damage uh -huh. and watched the tips are super pokey. Okay. And I dropped the bolster down so it'll actually hit on the cutting board properly when you're Huh. When you're doing things, yeah. And what's the bolster? This is called the bolster. Okay, awesome. And on okay. these type of knives, you can't actually whetstone sharpen. You have to remove some of the bolster so that the knife yeah. will hit the cutting board and chop through properly. Okay. So I always do. It's called bolster reduction. Okay. Like yeah, because as like the blade surge. goes down, the bolster comes out. That's right. right. And you end up with this. It's almost a high heel. <laughs> it looks yeah. like it looks like a high heel on a shoe. Okay. Anyways, you're all set. Thank you. Yep. Usually, if I haven't seen some, it's about the second time that they really get vicious sharp. You know, mm -hmm. the first time you're removing the old worn material and the damage, getting a good edge on there, and then the second time is when it says hello. Yeah. So enjoy them, and I'll, I'll see you guys next time. All right. Take all right. Care. Have a great day. Hey, how you doing, hon? I've got a few more underneath, but this is a nice little start. We got some uh, Victorinox down at the far end, which are your basic commercial grade. Well, they're higher end for commercial grade. And then these are some of the fanciest knives around. The Messermeisters are exceptional. Those are those two. Those are those are like Executive Chef showroom. Okay. And then these are Kikuichi's, which is a really nice Japanese brand. That's the 700-year-old Samurai Sword Company. Fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, actually, you go ahead and pick one up and feel it. You'll you'll see why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're a tool. Uh, they are a work of art tool. That's like a Porsche when you get in the steering wheel of a of a fancy car. And they're around about 150. Okay. And then I, and then I got that's uh, I forget the price on that one. That one's 90. So those are and that's a really high quality steel. Because well, we have I have two like this, but the handles have gone all funky. And I yeah. was gonna bring them to you today. And yeah. I totally forgot. So raw handle replacement is one of the things that you do is a thing. Oh. And I'm trying to find a source like I should have a drawer full of raw handles. And yeah, so yeah, yeah, just. Found them in there. Yeah. <laughs> the back. And so I'm working on getting the handles, but they seem like they're hard to find in, in like just a basic handle. Nobody wants a, you don't need an ebony engraved, yeah. elkhorn, fossilized, whatever. Okay. You just need a good handle. Good. Maple, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm trying to find them. Okay. Yeah. But well, I'll bring my blades next week and see what we can do for them and then... You, you mentioning right. that you need one puts that tickle, okay. tickle in my head yeah. to, to follow we through. We've some replacements with like okay. cola branches from around our property and stuff, yep. but we've got to get the balance all correct. Right, right. Yep. No, I look forward to that. That just adds something that I need to do to bring it in for you guys. Right. So Thank you. you got it there. See ya. Well, Mr. Steve, is this it? Yeah, I think it's about time for me to head on out. Is this the... I think it worked out pretty good. Okay. It did. You, you hooked me up as always, man. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, Cliff. Thanks, man. Well, you have a good rest of the day. I'll see you next time. Sounds good, Steve. All right, guy. See you, man. Bye. Bye.
Thanks, Jason. I appreciate that. So, actually, I'm caught up and I had a snack, and my buddy dropped off food. So, um, here's another view out at the market. Actually, I'll turn around this way. This is just a beautiful market. We got just up country is a gorgeous place to be hanging out. So one of my buddies, one of my actual first customers, uh, was a coconut guy, and he gave me one of these machetes. Doesn't use the back end, they just use this front end, mostly they're using it for the weight of it and the shape of it. The handle is uh, synthetic material, and it's got a nice forward weight with this extra material behind it for chunking. So what we've done is we've convex beveled this thing and mirror polish convex beveled them at some point. Um, and what we did with him, he was the first guy that we, they were all, everybody was at about 22 degrees, even more, some of them. And I said, let's try and drop this angle down and we'll get better cutting performance. Of course, we're convex too, so you get a little more strength. So we dropped that angle down, we went to 20, 19 18 and at 17 degrees the edge chipped and started to roll and so then we just brought it back out to 18 degrees and it's been three years and i've sharpened these i don't know a dozen times uh, i do them every couple months because they're constantly whacking they never chip and they never roll so what we've done is we found that optimal angle and i just think that's cool <laughs> Because now I know if I if you drop the angle lower, it's gonna it's gonna fracture or roll the edge. But at the 18 degrees, give or take, um, that's the perfect spot, and they can get the best cutting performance. And that's why they keep coming back. So that same guy has got a coconut shredder. What it is? Morning, guys. It's a, I call it the Christmas tree of death, is it's got multiple things. I think there's like one more thing. No, it's got that, and it's got one little one on top. Uh, can I ask you a question? Uh, how long does it take to uh, shut the knife? Ten, five, ten minutes. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, man. So this is this is the spinning thing, coconut shredder, Christmas tree, and this spins like a treat, like a wood chipper. It spins at high speed, and he brings me these every couple of weeks, and so I got to sharpen all the bevels on these, and I charge him fifteen dollars a tree for each for each one. I think I've got four trees here, so it'll take me twenty minutes to do all four at $15 each. But it's some quick grinding, just a quick little angle grind. And he drops them off for me, so I got a little bit of work to do while uh, while I'm slow. Er, <laughs> a little slower. Is this fun? Is this semi-entertaining for knife nerds? Hopefully, hopefully you guys can see. I wish I could get a little wider angle and you could see the, the front machine as well. Let me try and angle it down just a hair. I'll go, actually I'm gonna do the machete so I'll switch over to here. Yeah, 
yeah that'll work you guys can see that anyways Jason thanks for the comp compliment I try without getting over technical or trying to be preachy or you know trying to talk over them I try to let people know what's going on it's just information so my neighbor guy's the noodle guy he makes this really good noodle and so when I kick on the machete machine, I always, uh, it's, it's set up to shoot out the door. <laughs> so I just close the door a little bit. Sorry, this is a noisy part. But because I've done them, it just doesn't take too long. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually live streaming for the first time. It's kind of, kind of fun. So I took uh, uh, the local sushi place in Makawao. Yeah. And I took... This is this is what it looked like before. I mean, it was a little, blade, yeah. yeah, 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 and it was a little, little convex and a little rounded on the edge. Wow. Okay. Yeah, a little rough. Yeah. Yeah, really it's rough. Supposed, supposed to be flat, right? Yeah. You're supposed to see the shinogi. It's okay. supposed to be just. But and the shinogi is the separation line, right? The shinogi is on a blade that goes like this you're gonna this this whole slope is a shinobi yeah yeah so they shinobi. tell you follow the shinobi when you're sharpening it okay if you put your finger half of your finger on the blade yeah on the actual blade the other half on the stone and you apply pressure so, so your skin is actually you're feeling the half of your fingertip is feeling the stone the other half is the blade and you're sharpening only on the push and then on the pull, it's very light, but then you apply pressure on so, the push. So that's the stone method. The stone method, because a lot of times people get their fingers yeah, yeah, shaved yeah. down because so on the pull, they get it cut. Here's what I did. Wow, holy shit. Really? And I did that with, with a belt progression. No way. Yeah. Wow. And then, and then you'll watch I pull it. Oh my God, that's a mirror polish. And then, where's the... Wow. Maybe this one will actually pull up. Man, that's beautiful. Thank you, brother. Why did you do that with my blade? Well, <laughs> well, think that, so. Because it, it's, wow. about, it's about gaining the confidence. See, when I pull it up and you look down, and you actually look straight down. Which, Man, that is beautiful. So it was a six-step process, and I finished with a polish belt. And then, of course, you can sharpen and put a little micro bevel or whatever you want. Damn. But it's flat. Holy smokes, that's amazing. And that's all I'm gonna bring my blade here. You gotta okay. do that for me. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that wow. was that was the latest where's another one? Here's another. Same thing, but it's yeah. it's almost crystal clear. He must have been floored. He yeah. must have been blown away. No. <laughs> he actually posted he actually blade he gave like, goosebumps. Dude. Holy shit. He posted yeah. on Instagram, he said, forever at Curry Custom Cup oh forever. <laughs> Holy smokes, that yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, dude. So Man, got, now that is a work of art, I'm Thank telling you. you. It's Thank amazing. You. Thank you. I thought you'd appreciate it. Are you kidding me? No, no. I no. would just be floored. That's I what would I, literally just be <laughs> I shared it the some of the wet some of the guys on the knife form were like wet stones. It, it, you know, people people ruin Oh you can you can get that yeah. on a wet stone. But right. it's gonna take you twelve hours. Yeah. 12 hours to get that finish. and people ruin knives like that all the time if they don't know how they're doing it it takes forever to polish but that just shows level. that it can be done and oh i've got God. and i've got the tools to do it so that is great Just bring it on man bring it on bring it. i'm gonna bring my blade all right brother okay see you man, see you, man. hey Woo. Look at that, one. Wow. Well, that a knife <laughs> <laughs> nice dude yeah, uh, I, got, I got it from afghanistan oh. yeah. Excellent. Be a uh, little more, like maybe $8? That's fine. Okay. Give me give me a few minutes. I'll have it ready for you. About ten, 10 minutes. No, no problem. Do you Thank want you. a mirror polished edge? Yes. Or do you want an edge that really will slice like a razor blade? Slice. Okay. All right. All right. I'll give you both. Thank you. <laughs> you got it. Okay, man.
Uh huh. <laughs> Thank you very much. You want me to hit your? Uh, you want me to? This little guy's just rough. That's the one that's got the little the pre serrations on it. What's that, huh? All right. Yeah, I just don't know what kind of no, edge to put on that. No, no, that's fine. That's a 2x36 multi-tool. It's on a palm grin variable speed buffer grinder. Yeah, this, uh, this, uh, there's another one too. I forget the name right off the top of my head. Palm, but Palm Grin is the one I got. And it's got presets at 900, 1800, and 3600. But then you can kick it up at 100 RPM increments. And it's just rock solid. I mean, here's 900. I got a little wibble in my quibble, so. But then you can kick it up. You get very precise control over your speed, your temperature, everything. All right, that's down. Next. Half the fun doing the market is you get all these weird things. People, this is straight from Afghanistan, he said. Okay. <laughs> okay. First step sets the bevel. No, so you're not seeing it very good. There we go, maybe. With the angle guides, it really makes that bevel look crisp. So we got a new, we got a new 16, 15, 16, 17 degree bevel on, and then uh, we'll do the sharpening. Hey guys, good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Good. Oh, $20. I 
got some. Oh, I tried. 200, I, never mind. Oops. I, was like, I got a couple that are affordable in there. Maybe not 20, but I got a couple in the $30 range. Yeah. So wow. they're affordable. We're going to browse around a little more, but this is awesome. Very good, you guys. Anytime. I'm here every week. All right, we're caught up again, momentarily. Jason, I got a little something I'm working on the side too with the uh, with the multi tool. Um, maybe message me later on. I'm happy to share what I'm doing with you. Uh, looking at putting uh, the bottom end of it with the hard wheel. This whole area isn't being used. You got a shield and this. I don't use the side plate, but looking at some different things to use down in this area. <laughs> see it was cold and dark this morning when i started now it's getting warm uh but this little uh van has got kind of built-in shade and then i kick on these little fans and it's good so i'm gonna make a little noise guys just get this out of the way while i got a chance and there's nobody here You guys got any questions go ahead and ask away I, I can actually see the chat and I got another chat window opened up over there I think that I think's working and it's kind of fun hanging out with everybody so it's cool that that guy that was here I showed him that uh, sushi knife I mirror polished the other day and he's actually been to Japan and trained over there and he was one of the first guys that he brought me a sushi knife and he explained to me how he was taught to test the edge and what it was supposed to be like. And we looked at it under a microscope here. And then I turned around and sharpened it on my machines, handed it back to him. And he didn't say a word. He just left. And he went and bought me lunch <laughs> and brought it back. He said, what you did would have taken me 40 minutes and it wouldn't have been as, uh, you know, as clean consistent so it's neat to actually have uh, people in the the sushi world and Japanese single bevel world uh, starting to uh, trust the service that's available and that's not by everybody because you know a lot of guys just um, you got to practice that's all it is it's just practice all right I'm gonna do some grinding You, you saved me from a bunch of grinding. I was gonna have to do a bunch of grinding, but you saved uh, me. How's it going? How, are they working okay? They're wonderful. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just good. amazed what you could have, what you did in such a short time. That was a, uh, that was a low-hanging miracle. I like them. <laughs> and I have my other knives here, but I don't know <laughs> if I can get them all done. But I have at least this one. Well, let's see. Let's see what you got. See, if you tell me you got a bunch and you only give me one, I'm going to charge you more. And then if you give me all all the little ones, then I'll just charge you a less price. How much would you like to spend? I like playing games with you. How much? How much would you? How much would you comfortably like to spend to get those three sharp? I don't want to undercut you. You're not gonna. You couldn't possibly under. You couldn't possibly lowballer lowball me lower than I've been balled. <laughs> I don't. That sounded frank, a little bit dirty. Um, normally, you know, like a single bevel or you know Japanese knives are eight to ten. 
you got three knives here. I imagine you're probably on a budget. Yeah. You don't want to spend a bunch, but like what about? For, oh God, I wasn't even. I was, wasn't even going to charge you that much. I was thinking fifteen. But, really? Well, twenty for all three. Say twenty. And I'll do, and I'll polish this one up like it's a brand new. It'll be your new favorite knife. Does that win? Okay, uh, give me See, a little that's bit. That's the one I was talking about, this thing. Oh, a little yeah, melty? melted, yeah. Oh, it's worse on the other side. So I'm going to remove that damage as well with your permission? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I will take and do another low-hanging miracle. Sure. Okay, wave my magic wand and okay. make it like it's brand new again? Yeah. Alright, you're fun to work with. I, I don't, you know, some people you can't. Some people are, uh, <laughs> so anyways. Alright, give me, give me a, a hot little bit. For sure, I just got here and I just parked right behind I you. I saw that. So you're going to do a whole tour around? Yeah. I'm here till 11, don't forget, and I'll see you, I'll see you later on? Yep. Okay? Yep. Yep, I'll see you're you later. you need anything? No, nope, you're good. Okay. I'll see you later. How's it going, bro? Hey, man, good. In there? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm doing good. I'm actually live streaming today, so I'm, I'm sharing with my sharpener friends on the mainland, and they're getting to watch me actually work today. It's kind of cool. Right. saw that look. I was like, I forgot! Usually I hear the, yeah. I usually hear the whack. Every time I see you, I'm always like, oh, that's such a good idea. Like, mine are getting dull, and I mean, they're not great knives, but. So you got two stuff. other options besides here. Okay. You can drop them off at the home shop in Makawao, okay. which I have a home shop with storage lockers where you can just put them in the locker, and, and then I sharpen them and you pick them up. Or if it's not just one knife or whatever, I actually have a, a online booking app where you can click a few buttons and I come right to your front door. Can I find it under that? What does that mean? I'm gonna take a picture of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the new, actually the new business cards are coming that will have, here, you can you can have a business card. The new one gets rid of some of the garbage, all the, the confusing stuff, and it literally says, book your appointment, go to currycustomcutlery.com. Cool. I think I might be back next week, so but if I don't do it then, then I'll definitely... You can click the button, and uh, it's already pre-scheduled, like where you're at is certain days on the calendar, and then you just click where you're at, click what day you want, click what time you want, and then I show up. Nice. And it gets me out of the house. Do you, do you do all of your like business cards and website and stuff yourself, or do I, you work with someone on that? I have got somebody I work with, and a lot of it's my own original design on the logo. Cool. I have a back, a little bit of a background from years and years ago. Yeah. And uh, and then the website is through Squarespace. Uh huh. And it's decent, but it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. And I need a little help with my Squarespace website. Well, maybe I can help you with that. I was actually curious. I'm just very impressed with like all your stuff that you have. You know, I work with businesses and do that kind of work. Yeah. And typically, like, you're just really on top of it. Like, I, I have this. I have this. I have this. I'm like, wow. You know, we had a lot of time good, this. Like, this year, we had a lot of time. Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> I built a, I built a website. I established an online. I have a YouTube. I'm actually live streaming with just some friends back on the mainland. Oh, cool. Don't, yeah, it's just a, some guys in the oh, sharpening okay. forum, but. Um, I have a YouTube channel. Uh -huh. I've got maybe 5,000 subscribers. Yeah. And so they go to my channel. I show them how to sharpen. Uh -huh. And then they then I sell them the abrasive products so that they can do it themselves. Uh -huh. And so I have an online retail business now yeah, as well. Yeah. And so I'm teaching. I'm, I'm providing products and services and education. And Good for you. That's awesome. And you're having a rocking time. It's so yeah. much fun. You're just attacking it from all angles. Yeah, and, and literally just having the time of my life. And like right now, I'm just sharing with everybody for the first time. This is what I do, and they're like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, You're having it's, it's such a needed thing now because I mean, it's it's uh, dull knives are the worst. They're the worst. Even if you have cheap knives, it's like they're it's like it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. Like dull knives are like the worst thing you can have in the kitchen. And I didn't know you do gardening tools too. All like, the clippers and snippers and choppers wow. and machetes and 
I feel like they're in need of some love. I feel yeah. like they always use like a rusty and a dull and machete. Yeah. And to like bring that shit here and do this like yeah. the, for you. The, you know? Just dump it off. The more things I always start, when I start seeing the bigger the pile, the bigger the pile gets, the more I start rounding down too. Yeah. So the prices that are there are literally just there so I have a baseline. Okay. If it said six dollars, then I couldn't charge eight when it was really bad. But yeah. if it says eight, and then I can go, well, these are only six. And they go, oh my god, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, so yeah. they're expecting it. I've been a re I've been a repairman my whole life, and I've never had something where people say I appreciate you so much as doing this simple thing. I had it in my kitchen for a little bit, and like the day we got our knives back from getting sharpening was like the most exciting day ever. Woo! Like, oh, it cuts so Look me, we. I know. I get it. I get it too. Mine, mine are dull at home, but that's... <laughs> you're sharpening everyone else's knives. Yeah, exactly. So let me, let me know what I can do for you guys. And if you want to spring them next week, I'll be here every week. Cool. And I've always noticed you here, and I'm like, oh shit, I gotta do that. So I gotta remember. I'll put a reminder on my phone or something. So one of my one of my buddies just just catchphrase your. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna catchphrase you're attacking it from every angle is their yeah. new mantra. So thanks thanks for the <laughs> mantra. <laughs> right on you guys. I'm Megan. Right on Megan. Alright you guys, we'll see ya. People up here are so cool. And that's true what I said. I've been a repairman most of my life. I've never had a job where people just said thank you. I mean, you see, you see this morning people were tipping me. I give them a discount and they tip you back. Okay, I guess it's, I appreciate them and they appreciate us. Sometimes it goes the other way. It's an $8 knife. You charge them seven and they tip you and it's 10. And it went, it went completely the other way. It's so crazy. All right, so this one, <laughs> right? Where's my, where's my kickback? So this is the one. This gal, that, that first gal, super sweet. She brought me a brass pair of scissors last week, and we buffed them and polished them, and she, they were like, they were like gold, you know, like a movie prop. Um, we're gonna do something with this. Is that even showing up on the camera? There we go. Yeah, it's pretty tore up. Let's see what we can do. Oh, and it's got burn. Sorry, it's so dark here in the corner. Um, it's burnt. The handle's been cooked. Good morning, guys. Good morning. You guys dropping off? Dropping off. You picking up? Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> Hey, yes, sir. Thank you. Check them out. Yeah. Whoa, awesome. Bevel. Yeah. And it's got the bitey edge. You can you can do some serious slicing with that now. Yeah, need it. So we're gonna do eight dollars on that. Yes, sir. Okay. Whoosh. this little wireless thing. Can't go wrong with that. No, it just goes beep, authorizing, and it goes four green lights and says it's approved. Nice. And you're all done. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it was a Have cool a piece. That was a, that was a neat piece. I haven't seen one like that before okay. coming in. Thanks. Right on, brother. Have, Have a great day. Dropping right. off. Dropping off. Okay, Sorry, give me cases, but give me yeah. give me ten fifteen. I'll have them ready for you. Uh, how long are you gonna be here for, actually? Well, I'll be I'll be here till eleven. We actually got to run an errand really quick. We'll be back well before eleven. So nine, nine o'clock. I'll be here till eleven. All right. Thank and, you. And, and then if you if you don't make it back by the deadline, I just put it in my drawer and I keep it tucked away till. All right. Worst worst worst, worst case. Got it. Right on. Thank you. Sir. All right, brother.
For anybody wondering, the last, the last machine on the far end is my stropping machine. The motor's reversed, so I can hold the belt, the blade edge up while I sharpen, edge up while I sharpen. And then the last one, I don't have to remember to flip the blade over. It's everything in this van is away from you and edge up and away. And so my stropping step is the same direction. The belt is reversed, so I'm stropping away, but I'm going edge leading with the belts on the other two machines. The beauty of the Scotch Bright belt. Hopefully that hopefully that shows up. The, uh, the bevels are pretty choached. Huh. Oh, shoot. I don't got time to uh, do the old mirror polish thing on, on these ones. But we're also going to try and get the handle damage removed. She's not going to care about that anyways. All right. But if I had the time, I would love to get, this is the perfect knife to practice doing some nice bevels with. Maybe we'll see. If I got time, I'll come back to it. But for right now, I'm just gonna sharpen it. A little bit of recurve on the heel on that one. No big deal.
I use the Rikon machine at home uh, here in the here in the truck. Yeah. <laughs> Louis, uh, here in the truck, I got just a couple different one by thirties. Louis here to inspect my bevel, make sure I don't leave it with a recurve. <laughs> Time is it? I think we're at three hours on the same belt, that same Cubitron. Today. Oh, you brought me the saw. Did we talk about saws? The, the branch trimmers. That one. Mm. Oh, then I can use it, but it, it, no. Well, if I can, if, it, if it's gonna do anything, it's gonna do it right now. Well, I remember we talked about. I don't normally sharpen. I don't, I don't sharpen saws, like regular wood saws. Oh, okay, I don't remember saying that. I, so I, I, I apologize. No, no. In order to sharpen a wood saw, you got to normally come, come in with files and hit the cross cuts. Oh, Every, okay. I, I don't want to waste your time. No, it's, it's just a matter of you gotta, you got to sit with the right tool. This isn't the right tool. But then you have to sit and you actually have to do yeah see i could do that if i found if i could get something where did you get you, where well did you, you can go right to ace hardware really yeah they got little 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 files that are specifically triangular shaped just to do this because yeah. this still works pretty good but i figured if it got sharpened just a little yeah maybe it would We'll give that a shot, no charge. Okay. And I did hit this, I just touched the outsides just to hit them. But really what you need to do is just like I showed you, skip every other tooth. Right, okay, and I, I need another one of your cards because some people are- Right here, asking. and I got I got new cards on the way, so. Okay. But that's, that's the one. Sorry, okay, thanks, sorry. And, and uh, once again, I thank you for St. John's and for the Humane Society for your help. Absolutely. Uh, you know, Sorry so. I couldn't be more helpful with that one, but... No, no, uh, that's, that's okay. I didn't, uh, I, I didn't remember that conversation, so I wasn't sure. And I had this, no. and I said, gosh, I got to bring this one. Eh? So what I was showing you, just skip every other tooth, and then you go the other way. It takes about a half hour. <laughs> Fortunately, I have plenty of time. That's right. That's a, it can be a nice meditation. Thank you. You got it, man.
Yeah, Louis, uh, Cupatrons haven't found anything that comes close. That's it. That's 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 the final stop on the bus for me. I'm happy that we got them, and I'm happy they're working so good for everybody and myself included. Uh, I ran out the other day in the truck. I didn't have my Cubitrons, <laughs> and so I had to go back to the ceramics. And I love the ceramic. Ceramics were good, but they are nowhere near as durable as a Cubitron. So for the extra 30% in cost, it's three times as durable, twice as durable. It's ridiculous. So, so this is a cheap little knife, but it's the perfect one to maybe try and practice straightening out that line, the bevel. You can see how foobard it is on both sides. It's just a whatever. You see a lot of them out here. Let's see what we can do. I got the time to, uh, besides grinding on all these uh, coconut shredder blades, which I can do later on, maybe after I stop the stream, but let's see what we can do with this thing. And I'll flip over to the two by 36. This one it got quiet too. <laughs> nice, brother. Yeah, I got a whole bunch. Right on, dude. I'll give you a good price. I'll give you the, the super secret. Yeah, grandma price. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's exactly. <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna use that. Give me the four grandma price. Are these are these really grandma's now? Yeah. No. Nice. I was the one who called you that one time. Oh right, right, yeah. right. Hi. Hi. All right. That's fine. You, you can, yeah, you know what? You can just leave the box and whatever you want, okay. and I'll be, I'll be done in ten fifteen. Okay, thanks, man. Oh, it's for grandma. So give me the for grandma price. <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Well, I guess we're back in action. No rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten knives. You guys okay there? I feel like you're gonna fall. Hey there. Hi, how you doing? Hey, I know you. Yeah, how are you? We just brought our grandma's um, knives to you. Oh, that's a. a oh yeah, that's the Kikuichis, you guys. How much is that? Uh, which one? The small one or the? Well, this is for what? The big one. Yeah, that's a you know like everyday kitchen. Yeah. That's the, the kick-ass one. Nice so Kikuichi is, it says right on their label, they're 700 year old Japanese samurai sword guys. They're the ones that were the guys for the Emperor of Japan. And that's why they get to put the Lotus Blossom on. on. That's the only ones that can do that are the ones that were the set for the Emperor. So the big one is over just over 200. Yeah, I think, I think the Nakiri is 175 and the little one is 100. Yeah. No, that's the Messermeister, and that's that's another level up. So that's put 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 that one in your guy's hand. You you won't. It's not like other knives. Wow, it's so nice. So what they did is you got German German engineering, the best the best Japanese like knife design, like a knife artist, and then they put it together with the the crucible steel, the SG2 crucible steel. It's three hundred dollars. But that's the that's the executive chef's don't touch me knife. You know, that's the one where you just would go, nah, I don't want to get in trouble today. So I got some more coming, but so I got the basic Victorinox, I got some Japanese ones. A couple of these are, are more in the more affordable range. Not that one, but it is it's blue steel. You see the blue in the steel. That's but they 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 patina, so you got to be prepared for that. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some work. You guys feel free to keep looking around, and I'll have more products always coming in. I'm now an I'm author. Watching your Instagram, yeah. I got Shun. I got Shun products on the way. So all the different Shuns and it's good to have it. and you just let me know what you, if you want something specific, I can get it at Mainland price. Yeah. No markup, and I'll bring it in for you guys. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Always. I'll be right back. All right, my dear.
Hmm. What if my we still with me? <laughs> Are we all here still? Might be running low on battery, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think my battery's dying. I put the flat bevel on there, and you can see the somebody has done it on a pull through or something because the bevel's flat, but then there's these spots where it goes. Woo, woo. <laughs> Broken tip. Broken tip gone. Looks like it's still working. You guys still hanging out? <sighs> hey guys. How's everybody time doing? For a few more? Of course, go ahead and send one down. Okay, thanks. Always. Always, always, always. <laughs> Put them in the box here? Uh, no, that's okay. another customer's. Okay. But you're fine, just, just leave them just right there. Okay. It's all good. I'm trying to figure out where to plug in my thing. Yeah, give me about 15 minutes. I'll have them ready for you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. I'll leave the paper here. But I don't know if you need that. You can just set them off just over in the in the holding area is fine. or wherever, there? Where, Yeah, wherever. It's okay. Oh, okay. Do you oh, sell knives here? I sell knives. These are all for sale on that side. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. You can throw them away. All right. 
It's it's the I'm working on a bigger table. I took measurements okay. today to bring in a better table. All right, yeah. You're all good. All right. These are all for sale and and but don't I don't sell the customers. <laughs> Right. Not in front of their no, no, I wait till they go, right? That's right. I'll see you back here in a little bit. Okay, thank you. Hi. Hi, hon. There may be some in here you can't sharpen because they're serrated. I can do serrations. Oh, good, good, good. Would you? Actually, that's right oh, on the bottom. Oh, yeah, give me a few minutes and I'll take care of you. Oh, you're so oh, great. You got that oh, right there, it's fine. Okay, good. I'll Hi. see you in a little bit. Okay, hang on guys. Hang on. There we go. You guys still here? Huh? How you doing, kiddo? Good. Wait for the camera. Smile for the camera. <laughs> you don't want to. What do you got? Okay. Okay, go ahead and just, you're have to give me just a little bit. Mommy, give me that blue candlelight. Oh, 75, I think. Yep. Hi, Charles. You know who we are? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good like to see you guys. It just got real. Oh, oh no, I'm I'm just all of a sudden I just got backed up. I think you sharpened my hair. I think I did. How are they? Okay? Yeah. Good. I, mean, I need new ones, but yeah. I've got all kinds of new ones and I got affordable new ones too. Do you though? I do. Hair cutting scissors. Oh yeah. Oh. Mm, what's your price range? I don't know. Just give me something. I should believe it. I, I don't know if I'm doing this for a second. Are you here every weekend? I am. Well, since you asked. There. These are above shears. They're in the 300 range. Okay. These are Shisados, which are Japanese, mm -hmm. and I'm a registered scissor mall guy, and these are in the 250 to $300 range. Okay. 200 300 These are a basic pair. They're in the $100 range, but they're also exceptionally good. They're, prof mm. they're, they're professional. They're just, what you're, not, what you're not getting is like the Ferrari logo. Yeah, yeah you yeah, know, yeah. you're not paying for the Nike brand. You know what? Let me, I mean, I don't have, let me, let me think about this. Okay. I need scissors now. Yep. Shears. Yep, yep. And I even got one that's a little, I wouldn't go lower than that, but I do have a $40 grandma. I'm just doing it out of the house right now. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. like, you know. A hundred dollar pair, that investment will, will awesome. allow you to, to make a lot of good so haircuts. What was your name again? I'm Cliff. Cliff, I'm Summer. Summer. Okay, yeah. I'm always here. Awesome, Cliff. Thanks. Yep, you got it. I just ran out and I apologize, but I have all my information on. I'm here every week. I also have drop off storage lockers in Mockerwell. And if you go to my website, currycustomcutlery.com, which is my logo name, I have an online booking and I come straight to your house. Yeah. So either the drop off or pickup would work, or you can just click a few buttons and schedule an appointment. I've got new cards coming that say exactly that. <laughs> Go. I'm going to take a picture of it. Yeah. Here, I, so I got you on. Yep, yeah, that's the right thing to do. Go to the. What do you have to do? Is it. Did, what? Well, I don't need anything uh, sure sharpened right now, but I will. Have it, a your hair, hair, yeah, she's a hairdresser. Hair, hair shears. Mm -hmm. 
So for hair shears, I have a Kotoku, which is a twin head machine, and all Japanese whetstones. I've been trained by several of the best guys in the business. And uh, I keep going back for more training too. And you gotta stay up on it. Yeah, you know, and it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. Besides, you know, everybody, well, anyways, that's a, it's a weird thing because I'm now, I think I'm the only guy on the island that does it. But I could, you know, there's no, there's no rule. It says you can't be better than, no. than a lot of the others. Right. I, I'm trying to be the best dang guy around, so. Right, well, Satisfaction is guaranteed. All right, you got it, guys. Not my, not my best pitch. Yeah, the online booking app, I do two to three a day, and the appointments get me there, and it takes me 15, 20 minutes. Uh, usually I do 10 to 20 knives, and uh, it pays for itself. It's worth it, since I'm in the area anyways. Still trying to oversell myself on the scissors. Doesn't instill confidence when the guy really tells you how good he is. No, but really, I'm good. Oof. Just strip, just carbide strip through. Take me a little bit, kiddo. I got a couple big orders to do. Okay, come on back. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes this uh, this little thing reminds me of working. I, I worked a cotton candy stand at a carnival one summer. Man, you were just moving. All right, let's go.
I do. All, all your household stuff, knives, kitchen, scissors, gardening tools, machetes, yeah. hand, hand tools. Good, I'm running a little hot here at the moment. <laughs> I haven't had anything go flying out of my truck today, so we're doing good. You're mostly safe. Huh? <laughs> Any questions or anything, please don't hesitate. Those are the beautiful Kikuichis. And I am not price gouging, I am keeping my prices the same as exactly what you would find on the mainland. For sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, she got one here the other time. Oh, okay. I, for my brother who's a chef down in D.C., he's like... Was that, was that you? I remember. I remember, I remember your voice. It's all about voices. Huh? It, was, it was right before Christmas, right? Yeah. I sold out of everything that day. Nice. I mean, it was a slam. The Kikuichi's just I mean, he cleared said that it. he is loving it. Nice, dude. Because he doesn't dude. have, like, a small one like every other chef. That's right. Yeah. I remember. You were looking for one to, to fit, the, fit the puzzle. So I got more coming. I literally haven't really restocked. I haven't recovered since that that slam. Are you dropping? Please do. Go ahead and sit down. Give me a little bit. I'll see you back here. Very good. Very good. I'll see you. See you shortly. Sorry, say again? Anyone that makes the blades here on the island? Not a good high quality forge, you know, with good steel. There's some, there's some, uh, I don't even know who, I don't even know of any off the top of my head. I got into it, but then I got out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think there might be a guy on the, there's some Hawaii main ones, but I mean, made on Maui with koa wood, you know, some beautiful koa and a good quality steel. I think they would sell, but right. there's a, one of the, I sold all my forge equipment to a young kid down the, just two blocks down, the MacNut kid. And he's been to the mainland to train with one of the guys that was on Forge Through Fire. Nice. So he's into it. Yeah. What's that? Right. One of the guys, actually, one of the guys that I learned to sharpen with, trained with Murray Carter, who was trained in Japan. Yeah. And uh, he's got a really successful Murray Carter Carter Blades or Carter Cutlery is an amazing company. And uh, he's out of uh, Oregon, okay. and uh, so he does some handmade ones that are spectacular. Nice. <laughs> and I, I actually got to hang out with the boys, it was fun. Sounds great. <laughs> and I'll always have some new ones coming in. If you see anything you want, you know, like a certain product line or something, you can just let me know, too. Okay, sounds great. All right, you guys. Thank you. Of course, of course. Are we having fun yet?
Good morning, guys. Hey, how are you? Good. Kicking butt. That's what we want to hear. <laughs> no stopping. You can't talk and chew bubble gum. You can't do this job. Reminds me of that summer I worked at the carnival and there was no slowing down when you're in the popcorn booth. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Any, any questions go ahead and just ask them right here okay. Can I yeah go ahead the only trick with that is when you lift up I don't have a, a catch on the handle okay. uh, so you have to hold the door up and when you pull the crush out pull it out to the top so you don't don't cut any more than have already been cut yeah. I'll, be, I'll be real honest with you because uh -huh. I am I don't like the way that one feels. It's a little lighter than I expected. And when you put it in your hand, it's, it's got a huge hot spot on the whole inside edge. And that's why I bought them to bring them in so I could find out which ones are cool and which ones <laughs> are not. All right, Grandma's going to be happy. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six dollars a night, sixty dollars. There you go. No, they were, and uh, somebody's got the, the vicious pull through, the the carbide scraper kind. Oh, I don't know who that is. Hmm. Oh yeah, they have the um. Oh, I got yeah. the red. Oh, I didn't put it. In, I put it in backwards. Okay, and then go boop, green light. Author. I will not touch those. So what it did too is. There you go. All set. You want to uh, text to 5181? Okay. Is that carbide scraper scrapes and puts a new edge on, but it makes the edge go like this. So when I tried to sharpen it, it was just like I had to go to grind town just to bring the bevel back. That's the one. There you go. Right on. My pleasure, you guys. What'd you think of that one? Yeah, it's kind of like that zero tolerance one is much nicer. You want to do, you want to do yourself a favor? What's that? Grab the box underneath. See if there's see if the box I got Tupperware is underneath there. Find the one that's the knife one. It'll pop. That one feels empty. Uh, it's got to be that one. Uh, no, that one's definitely empty. And then one of them's gonna have knives in it. Yeah, uh, no, that's hardware. Sorry, there's only three boxes, so. Uh, and it's worth it, I swear. It's going to be under door number two or door number three. Because I know, I know exactly what you're looking for and I got it. All right, pull that up here and I'll, I'll show you what we got. I got one more of them. And this is a dangerous box to reach into. <laughs> the knife box. Oh yeah, there's a slicer. I think I got one more. Hey, where, are you, uh, where are you located during the week? Uh, I got a home shop and then I've got a mobile app where you can book your own appointment and I come to you. Okay. Basically, I'm a traveling man. And you'll do axes and machetes? And stuff? I do axes and machetes all day, every day. All right. Uh, yeah, and I'm pretty affordable about it. It's $10 for machetes and everything else is under that. Cool. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call you this week. Yeah, yeah, give me a call and I'll send you the info. I've got new business cards that will have that info, but I'm waiting for them what to get What about the it. one I, I got one from you last week? I meant to bring this stuff this week, but I forgot again. Is that the same card? Is it good? Yeah, it's fine. You just got to go either call me and uh, the phone number is always going to be the same. Okay. And we'll figure out either drop off at my house or, or I'll come to you. Okay. Where you live? I live right in Makawao Town. Oh, okay. I'll drop it off. Okay. Thank sounds you. good. I'll send you my address. I'm so sorry. I think I sold it. Oh, that's all right. It's a, it's a. Well, I got two or three of them because they were so good. They're little Kershaws. Yeah. No, it's a little. Ker it's a, it's an amazing little Kershaw. It's extra heavy duty and it feels good. And it's right. solid. And it's 35 bucks. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. So it, it hits all the boxes. I'll bring things. I'll bring them back in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to order some more. Kind of looking for something. So. The, this little Kershaw is 
it, it gets my my two thumbs up of approval. Okay, cool. Well, you know? Okay, well next time we'll stop by and see if you have them. I'll, I'll make sure I'll hustle up and get them in here for awesome. you. Awesome, thank you. All right, you got it. You guys dropping off? Yeah. Please do right there, and I'm gonna keep sharpening. Okay, just go ahead and send there and I'll take care of you. Thank you. Hey, you guys just looking? Just looking back in. Nice. Wow. Got some real nice tasty spider coes in there. Yeah. Almost. Here, hold on. Step, step up here, Jen. What's your name again? Charles. Charles? Okay. Charles. How old are you, Charles? Nine. Nine years old. He uses this knife every week on his farm. And he has me sharp. Oh, that's your dad's. I have different knives. I have knives like that. I have like two or three of them like that. And good timing. I know, and I know you use them too. Uh, I haven't been using them too much because you know, barely anything. Yeah, a little slow right now. There you go. You're all set, bro. Really. Hardest working little kid I've ever seen, man. You take it easy. Enjoy a little time where you're not having to work so hard. I know. You got your whole life to work, but you're going to do good because you can work hard. I'm not tired. No, you got, all got to rest too. That kid is legit. I started working restaurants when I was 12, but that kid's nine and he works on his farm. His parents make him work hard. You guys saw that, didn't you? You guys still hanging? Anybody? <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, cheap steel. Uh, I got a little rubbing alcohol, isopropyl. I'm almost out too. <laughs> Hey, hey, honey. How you doing? What's this? Yeah, that's fine. It's a little tucky spot. Hey, when you come back, come say hi to my live stream. <laughs> How's it going? Real good. Get a little warm in here though. I better open the door again. I like that little cross breeze. Yeah, but the shade actually, I, I stay cool here in the shade. And uh, as long as I get the nice airflow coming through. How you doing, dear? Uh, good. I'm picking up. Are you sure it's those? Uh huh. And they, they were wrapped in this little guy? Yeah, they were wrapped in. Then I got this and okay. my watch. Yep. Okay, good. Not that I doubt you, I just want to make I sure. I don't know, I, I, because I was kind of looking at nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there was this, there's also this. Yeah, count. no, this is mine. Okay, good. Let's, uh, let's count them up again real quick, and I'll give you the nice deal. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four of the big ones are 30, let's call it $40. Is that easy enough? Okay. I like that when it wins for everybody. Oh yeah. You can charge even more because I'm giving you a credit card. No, I, 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 I absorb all that. You need money or anything? No, uh-uh. <laughs> well, always. She's, she's got the card. Yeah, I got the card. <laughs> Authorized and approved, my dear. Thank and you. And take your time there with your... I will. Yeah, be sure. it was, yeah that guy. Yeah, yeah. Sizes and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I do. These are some real high quality. We have actually I have two or three different target zones I'm looking to hit. One is the commercial kitchen with a nice Victorinox. The next is uh, we have the highest end Japanese knives. And I'm working on the middle range from Shun to Kai to some nice pieces in between. One second. Yeah. Oh, ceramics? Ooh, not that big of a chip. I have to bring them back. Two, two weeks. I got new diamond belts coming. I have prototype diamond belts coming. Why don't you hang on to them? And then if you can, bring them back in two weeks. And I'll have new, that's a severe chip. I don't need to try those. <laughs> I know what that's going to take. That's going to take about a half hour. Um, uh, they're running in that $70, $75 range. We can, yeah, go ahead. Uh, lift the lid and pull it uh, other way. There we go. And then when you pull it out, they'll pull it up. Yeah, so the blade doesn't slice any more of my... You said this was how much? Uh, I'd have to double check the, the price. I think Thank it's you a, so much. You're welcome. Have a great en enjoy. Okay. I think it's about 70, 75. I'll put a custom edge on there for you too. It's a, Kershaw's go from 50 to you know they can go crazy price. You're gonna change out the blade for me? I, I could put a custom edge on there for you. I, I'll put my razor sharp edge on there. They're sharp from the factory, but I make them sharper. Are you uh, familiar with? Uh it's Dave Fine. Mm, there's a lot of makers out there. I'm not sure if that one rings a bell. Kershaw, the 
That's actually the blade I carry is a Kershaw, it's a Kershaw Leak. Yeah. And so what it is is it's the Slimline Gentleman's Folder. It's I got a lot of knives. I mean, I don't have a huge amount. That's why I got into sharpening was to kind of curb my appetite. This is the one I always put in my pocket. Okay. Because it fits. And, it, and it's the one that disappears and I never have to think about it. And every time I open it, see mine's getting a little sticky. It's just got that, it does what I want it to do, which is I open Amazon boxes. You, uh, <laughs> you take it into the water? Is it good with water? No, I would not take them into the water. Okay. If you're going into the water, you need a salt. Yeah. Like, a spy, like that yellow handled Spyderco salt. I mean, or else what it's going to do is no matter how hard you try and dry it, it's going to get in there. It's going to rust it bad. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take this guy because okay. I had one in with uh, one of my old knives into the ocean and it got kind of rusted. In That's a winner. I'll, I'll just call it straight 75. I don't even have to look it up. I know it's, it's I know it's right in that zone. And they they come sharp already? Let me check. Happy to check it for you. It's so hard to tell after a while. The callus fingers is why. Yeah, I do. I got the chewy. I got you too on those. Right, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a slice the edge on there for you. live streaming to some sharpeners in my in my forum group uh -huh. and they're they've never they know who I am but they've never seen it, you know it happening yeah and they're they're kind of they're like diamond belts you got diamond belts what are you <laughs> where are you getting all this at it's the best, man. diamond real diamond belts are crazy expensive what are they more than a thousand pieces no they're I mean like a lot of these belts are in that that under five dollar range. Mm -hmm. There, oh my God, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a slicer. All right, dude. Thank set. you, man. I appreciate it. You guys are learning all my secrets, aren't you? you know, what are you What are you spraying on there? What do you got going? I guess. It, what did I think? Right, I'm live streaming, and then they're getting to see what I do and how I do it. Yeah. All right. Let's quit looking. Authorizing and approved. Here you go. What's your uh, phone number? I'll text you. 773-559-0356. Nice, dude. You have the blue, uh, I'm trying to think what the coating is on that. It's a uh, stone wash, I think. It's, a, it's not one of their more common, the, the electric blue. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't see these colors. No. Nope. And then that's the stone wash. And uh, that's all you, man. And the receipt's sent to you. Thank and you. And you're all set. All right, you have a great one. You too, brother. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Hey, you're back. Okay. Here we go. Here. Just because, just because I know how people like to see this happen. Yeah, it got really dull. <laughs> it did. This, this edge, I don't know if it's this edge. You can hear it. It's got... It's got shaving sharp techni technicals. There you go. And you are 17 all together. 15, call it 15. Yeah, you did this about four months ago. Okay. So it lasted It lasted a decent amount of time. Yeah, yeah that's good. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Out of 20. Five for change, you're all set.
And I believe I'm actually caught up for a moment in time. That rarely happens. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Really a nice busy morning, so it always makes the time go by quick too. Oh I'm sure. Absolutely. Thank you. Very good. Enjoy. <laughs> Jason, uh, diamond belts, the ones that I've gotten myself from the same sources that we all used to go to, um, they don't last very long. And they're pretty expensive. So I'm sourcing legit. There's there's like two different types of diamond belts. There's these, um, again, uh, the ones I've been getting from, uh, just like we all were, Super Grit or True Grit. And they're these, these thin little film, and they call themselves diamond belts, but they're just film and it seems like they don't last very long at all and this is a 30 micron that should be super super toothy you know there should be some abrasive on there and they, they're not uh, so I've got uh, sorry I'm trying to do too many things at once here so I'm, I'm sourcing real diamond belts and they're expensive they're in the 20 to 40 dollar range uh, for small ones but when you look at them they actually are like a trizac belt they have structured abrasive you can see clumps of diamonds on them so uh i don't think i've ever seen anything like it so i'm, I'm checking them out i got them coming in the next week or two the veal uh, the veal's first because it's here and i got it because I wanted to have options to use the accessories that I have. And I have all the accessories, uh, the drill bit, the planer blade, and I never use them. So the planer blade, and the, they just sit in the drawer gathering dust. The veal's a cool, cool machine, but I think I'm gonna build some new ones this year. And, uh, oh, spoiler, uh, I might have some new upgrade kits available that are gonna be like, you know next level and that's my whole idea is to, to actually get back into maybe getting some really nice modified machines and I can sell the kits you can get the the wheels uh, you can bolt them on you can bolt on a DC motor or maybe then that'll be the leapfrog to a full custom frame with a new design that could run either a 1 by 30 or 1 by 42 belt something like that uh, but the first starter is to get the upgrade kits and then I'll go from there. Yeah, I'm out of rubbing alcohol. That sucks. Market's been going four hours. I've been here four and a half hours since 5.30 this morning. It's 10 a.m. now. The market closes at 11 and I expect one more good rush. I see the gal behind me coming to pick up a couple of her items, so it's good. That, that early morning rush between 9 and 10, everyone slams down their stuff and then they come back and pick it up about now. Like this nice lady right here. Hi there, nice lady. Hello. I think not get a chance. I was going to do something above the above thing, but maybe next time. No problem. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I just don't even know what time it is. 10 o'clock. I forgot to do the handle. You are going to sit right there for just a hot second. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not leaving this. No, it's, it's only 10.
The handle, she uh, melted it. I'm, ta I'm talking to myself too, sorry. Oh. All right, let's see. nice to have it in case you need it but I haven't needed it uh, I can certainly see it being a more of a useful as a home the home bench version hey, perfect you got the one biggie and the two littlies, two littlies yeah. uh, let's see their little ones are five and five and take a card right yeah it's like 13 uh, is that right eight 18. Sorry. <laughs> my math is my math is I'm, I'm hitting I'm hitting the wall. You're just like sharpening and sharpening and sharpening. Four hours <laughs> straight today. 18 zero, zero. Yeah, four hours straight. And I was and I'm still live streaming too, which is kind of cool. Oh, awesome. You're live streaming this yeah. whole thing. Yeah, I got I got little, <laughs> I got I got my sharpener bunch of sharpening nerds from the club. Oh jeez. And there you go, it's all set. <laughs> That's awesome. Multifaceted. We all are self-proclaimed nerds. Right. Yeah, in some but, way, shape, or form. They're, they're all like, hey, I like your setup. Hey, how are you doing that? And hey, I'm like, oh, this maybe was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> These are my secrets, man. Yeah, trade secrets. All right. They say hey. you need to give your secrets away, though. That's all, that's all I do all day. Right on, you guys. Have a good one. You too, Aloha. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. So they're 
Oh, all set. Oh, yeah, gosh, I'm glad you came back. Yeah, me too. This is, <laughs> I need these. You'd be surprised people don't come back sometimes for, really? for a while. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, how bad were they? Uh, they were pretty rough, but yeah. you know what? You, you can see from even from here, they got their pokey points back. Yep. They're thank all you. razor sharp again. Perfect, thank you. And let me just check my edge. I, I normally don't have to, but I like to once yeah. in a while. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I leave like them on the bite. <laughs> I leave them on the bitey side. Yeah. You know the. So. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Perfect. So you got one, two, three, four. Do you do Venmo or do you do cards? I can do Venmo, PayPal, Cash App. If I could do Venmo, that'd be great. Venmo. I got cash in there. That I would love to get. Thirty dollars. <laughs> okay. Thanks. And. Uh, okay. Gonna be. Oh, I can. I can do the whole thing. Oh right. yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Where do that thing? I can do the thing that lets you do the thing. Do the thing with the thing. That's me. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Butt today. Holy cow. Zero 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 five. Thank you. Yep. I like that extra step of security there. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Just All in right. case you, just in case it accidentally Venmo's in your pocket or something. Right. Okay. Perfect. You're all set. Where are, the, where are these going? Do they live at home in a butcher in a butcher block or? Uh... Actually, I put them up on a magnet now because I didn't have any yep. real room and. Yeah, and then I have people that come over and use them, and then they, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do know. As long as they don't leave them on the burner so they oh melt. Oh, God, no. No. Yeah. Yeah, no burner and no wash dishwasher. Yeah. I see this thing in a dishwasher, I'll probably carve someone. <laughs> I actually ended up with a, a shun knife that I brought home to our home kitchen. Yep. And I, I, I express instructions. Yep. This is this is your chance not to screw it up. Right. And two weeks later, the edge is just tore up. Well, one of those, I'm sure you can tell, um, I think it was the, um, the Mercer. Um, yeah. Somebody had actually, they put it in the sink. Yeah. And just left it there. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I, yeah well, yeah, and then the tip broke off. Yeah, that's so, luckily, luckily I can I can erase broken tips. Yeah, that's fantastic. And it's fun, but it's amazing how corrosive the hot, the the dishwasher can be. Oh yeah. And uh, yep. all you gotta do is just wipe them down, yep. and you know the drill. Oh yeah. Until somebody doesn't. Hi baby. <laughs> and then I will be here for you. Thank you. Appreciate it. You got it. All right. Take care. Yep. Yeah, that little buffer is cool. Um, it's not a Fordham, but it's a Fordham knockoff, and it's about half the price. Uh, it still works, works great. Uh, in fact, to get a couple of those, you can do a bunch of different things with them. Um, variable speed, so you got your options like always. But it, like any little buffer, even little buffers, dangerous as fuck, man. If it'll kick, if it catches something wrong, it'll kick it so fast you won't even be able to blink. Um, that happened to me when I was first starting out. I had a Delta six inch. I was real excited. I got my new buffer and it was actually buffing a little pair of scissors. And I was buffing down like, like you would a bench grinder. I wasn't buffing away like, like I've learned to now, but I was buffing it and the scissor closed and the side and it hit the side of the wheel. And it was just like that. Um, I just blinked because all I heard was bang bang and I realized that it had, it was on the floor and it had hit the ceiling, hit the wall and hit the floor and I felt it go by my face and that's when I sat down and it almost made me sick to my stomach because it just happened, it was just like bam bam 
and it was on the ground and I realized that that little needle point scissors, one of those little stork, the ones that look like a little bird, <laughs> and that little pair of scissors went right by my eyeball and I've never been the same since. There you go. So I took it, I took it, I polished it, there's gonna be some little pukas. I, I, I removed the damage, I sanded it, and then yeah. I buffed it. Or, it doesn't look cruddy now. Doesn't, doesn't feel cruddy. Yeah. It's as cruddy. Yeah. That's what yeah. it's, a, it's a cool piece. The main piece. thing is that I couldn't get the blade right. No. That, if I had longer today, well, especially while I was live streaming to my buddies, I was going to try and redo these bevels. You know, and so I actually did one recently and I mirror polished the bevels with mirror polish, super sexy. But you can see how, how weird the bevels are. They, they super need straightened out. It ain't going to affect how it cuts. It's going to slice like a son of a gun. <laughs> and it's super slicey. And, and the before and after on the polish, Always, always makes the difference, especially when it was halfway done. So, so you're all set. You're all set. Did you pay me? I can't remember. No. What did we pay? Well, that was your chance. You could have said I totally paid you. <laughs> <laughs> I think the agreed upon what sum of twenty was our. Was <laughs> Perfect. Although you initially started out with a higher. Excessively high. Oh. Excessively high. I'm just teasing. I'll give you a tip. I'll give you $2. Oh, please don't. <laughs> please don't. I've, I've just crushed it today. All my friends are watching on the sharpeners. They're still watching right now. And they're like, dude, you're crushing it. Yeah, I, it feels good. They're like, you, you totally motivated us to, to keep going, doing what we're doing so we can do it. Oh, yeah, let's cool. do let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, but do wait. Oh, no. Do you have um do you have something to put them in? Yeah, I have my cooler bag and I have a, a bag. Oh, oh yeah, maybe she, for the sticky one I would be good again. Yeah. I have them in a paper bag in my cooler bag, so there you go. Two. Stubby. And the little one is just like it's one of those little there you go. Sorry. Fruit, sticking out. Fruit knives, but I use it constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Those are real popular. Are just oh, you're all set. Yeah. All right, my dear. Until next time. Yes, I am very grateful. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> what, Jason? <laughs> I'm on the home stretch. This is uh, 1020. I got about 30 more minutes. And then I gotta do some heavy grinding. Um, I'm gonna have to put my head down and elbows up and it's gonna be grindy for a little while. So I'll just keep the stream running uh, for whoever wants to watch it. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, hopefully it was fun. Hopefully it was cool for some of you guys.
see a drum.
That is a dusty deal. Very nice. Yeah. Hey guys. Um, sharpen uh, serrated edges. Sure. Oh yeah, I actually can re-serrate different types of items as well. Okay. Like fully re-serrate. I've got uh, several patented techniques for doing re-serrations. Okay, because I have Cutco knife. I use it all the time. And yep. It. So what is that? How much does that cost? Let me, uh, hold on one second. Uh, it's usually $2 more. Are they regular just Cutco steak knives? No, they're, uh, it's a bigger knife like this one. I don't know what they call it. I think I just did two of them the other day. Uh, eight dollars each. Okay. And yeah. what about a, a cheese knife, Cutco cheese knife? Yep, all of them. So the Cutcos have that special little serration in it, and uh, I actually just did. I, I it, this is worth your time to see, because uh, I shared it with my knife forum, and stu stunned and amazed. Here you go. Here you go. That's a Cutco. Wow. And so, and so I. Uh, I'll just have to be careful with my fingers. Yeah. So, and that's the type of serrations you're talking about. I actually just did kind of a little mini master class for oh, some other uh, sharpeners. Let me see the. Yeah, they the Cutcos have the oh. triangular. Oh, because I thought they were more pointy. Anyway, I'll bring them up next yeah. Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's the, the whatever shape they are, I can match and them perfectly. How long does it? How long does it take? Ten, fifteen minutes. Oh. Oh. We'll I know up. people are always pleasantly surprised. Yeah. They're a little suspicious sometimes too. Like, well, I mean, I asked them. If we have a meeting place uh, close to us. Like meet, uh, uh huh. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. I just happened to ask a gal there. She goes, "Well, I think we can, but I'm not sure about bringing." I'm like, "Really? Who this was, was not a cheap who, knife." Who was it? No, or, it was, it was just a small country. Oh, it wasn't here there. on the island. No, no, no. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, all over. I've been. We used to go down there on a regular basis to visit my grandpa and. He was he was a legit the loggers. They grew up on logging camps. Where you're, I grew up in near the Dells. Okay. Yeah, so do for the Dells. I miss I miss going being able to go down there. You know, cause they haven't been there for a long time now. But but what a and then I lived in Portland for in the early 90s when I was going to electronics school. But what a what a everything changes. But really, does it change? <laughs> Portland, but we have an acre and a half out, you know, we're in the country. Nice. Annex us in to pay all the taxes, right? Right. The extra taxes. But right, to get you in. Just come on, join yeah. the club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Anyway, yeah. it's not bad, but we like, we love coming here in the winter. We love coming here. Well, well, I'm glad you guys are here. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. I'll be here every week. You can count on it. Okay. If you need to make special arrangements, I don't have any more cards today, but no. but I'm here every week. What are the hours of the market? Anyway? It, it technically is from seven to eleven. Oh, it is eleven. I thought it was one. No, it is. I wish it was one. Yeah. Uh, since we set up, people get here before sunrise. I always suggest coming just after sunrise. Yeah, we it's like the here. best time when the when the sun comes up and rolls out over the hills. Okay. Before that, it's a little chilly. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you. We'll see you next time. All right, you guys enjoy. I'll take this guy right here. Bam! Just, just, I, I just see it. I like it. I want it. Drop on it. 175. 175, okay. You take card, right? I do. So this is like a samurai? This knife. is legit. You can read that everything's in the box. I'm really excited for you. It's Kikuichi, man. It's, it's the deal. Is I have an executive chef friend, Nick Cleveland. He works at Mala with uh, Mark Elman and you know the, the the Trinity, Bev Gannon and Mark Elman and and Nick Cleveland, the executive chef. This is what he gives his chefs when he wants to give them a gift. 
Yeah, is, a, is a Kikuichi. So, so I knew I was on the right track. It, to be an chef. <laughs> it literally could. Is this like, is there any special way you're supposed to care for it or clean it? Don't leave it wet. Don't go wet, okay. Yeah. When you get done using it, give it a rinse, give it a dry, make sure it's dry. And I'll, I'll give you a little thing too. You just hand clean it? Yeah, hand wipe it. Let me uh, 175. You can, use, you can use like dish soap on it though. Yeah, you can. I mean, clean it, scrub it, clean it, and then dry it. And then I'm going to give you a nice little sheath to go with it too. Oh, nice. That one looks, how much is that little guy? Uh, 100. It's not as useful as a tool, but it is part of a team, you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Authorizing and approved. What's your 8216? Last four digits? Sending. There you go. Thank you. You're all set. Beautiful piece. And let me give you the complimentary bonus velvet lined curry custom cutlery sheath to go in that. Me, That's so cool. Let me show my viewers at home. There we go. Nice. Nice. Kikuichi. You have my Instagram? Actually, you know what? Let me do that. I've been live streaming to some of my fellow sharpeners today. And I'm just screwing around. Uh, but I would love to get a shot of that because nothing says kick ass like having a guy that's really happy about the new knife he just bought. Oh. Nice. I think I got a good one. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. You got your cheeks are just smiling. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Oh, you guys are awesome. Enjoy. What a great way to end my market. I think I'm gonna start my tear down. Oh, you are nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a great day, guys. Let me check when I get home in the next half hour. That should totally work. That should totally work. <laughs> I had no idea it was just shooting the... I had no idea it was just shooting the corner of the... <laughs> Van. Sorry guys. Jesus. I got three minutes till my live video total is done. I'll uh, step out and show you guys around. There we go. Still running. Come on, it's not too late. I'll get you on there. <laughs> I feel pretty incognito like this. <laughs> the bee man. This is the, the bee man. <laughs> honey, do this. Honey, do that. Uh... <laughs> well, honey is money. Honey is money. I like that. That's a good motto. I sold two pockets. I sold three, two or three kitchen knives today. Good. I mean, that. That's the big thing if you sell a product. Yeah. Because that's what you have to put cost on. You need still sharpening? For you, I am. Wow, thank you. Yes, sir. Let me. Get out of here, John. That's why I'm here. Always the best. Could be true. You sharpen my knives and they're not dull yet. I don't know why you put a magic charm on them or something. Like that. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I have a... Signing off.